Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to be doing two looks with one palette, and the palette that we are going to be using is the new Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. So if you want to see the looks that we created using this beautiful palette, then just keep on watching. The look that I created first with this palette is this emerald green look. So if you want to see how I achieved the look, then just keep on watching. So for the first step, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes. And I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in the shade Light. The first shade that I'm going to go in with is Beam. And I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone with this shade. As you can see, it's super pigmented and just gorgeous. The next shade that I'm going to be going in with is Creamsicle, which is this uh, yellow shade. And I'm going to be using that shade for my transition area in the crease. And I'm just going back and forth in my crease just to make sure it's nice and blended. The next shade that I'm going to be going in with is that red shade and it is called Hunts. And I'm going to be using that to define my crease. As you can tell, it's super warm and easy to blend. Then I go back in with Creamsicle just to make sure that everything is super, super smooth and there's no harsh lines. The next shade that I'm going to go in with is this shade called Chip. And I'm going to be using that to deepen my crease area. And as you can see, I'm only putting that shade directly in my crease. Next, I'm going to clean up my lid, and for this step, I always use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair, and I find that this step really makes the lid color pop. And for the lid color, I'm going to be using Diva from this palette, and this is such a pigmented shadow. I was honestly blown away with how pigmented it was. I love the shade, and I have nothing but good things to say about this palette in general. And to create my wing, I'm going to be using the TARDIS Double Take Liquid Liner. And as you can see, the tape really helps to create a sharp wing. For lashes, I'm going to be using Bali Lashes by Shop Sophie Bella. And I'm just applying that with some tweezers. And now I'm going back in with the shade Creamsicle, and I'm going to be buffing that all over my lower lash line. And then going in with Hunts just to add some depth in the outer part of my lower lash line. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the first makeup look using this palette. And if you want to see the second, then just stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Sophie. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my lid and then I'm going in with the color Beam and I'm just applying this on my brow bone. And now I'm going in with the color Butter and I'm just starting to buff that into the crease. To define the crease, I'm going to be using the color Jax and I'm just laying that down above my natural lid. And I picked up some Butter and Jax just to buff the colors together. Now I'm going in with the color Faint and I did dampen my brush and I thought it was extremely pigmented after I wet my brush and then I applied more butter and more hunts onto the outer corner and I'm just patting that onto where I would apply liner and then I applied some Abyss and some liquid liner to my lash line and now I'm going in with more Abyss and hunts just to blend that smoky liner together. For lashes, I'm using Shop Sophie Bella Malibu Lashes. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil and more of uh, Butter and Jax on the lower lash line and Abyss on the outer corners. And now I'm just applying my Tarte Lash Paint and some Beam on the inner tear duct. And that's the finished look. My overall thoughts on the palette is that I was very impressed with it and I think that the color payoff is pretty good. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!